Can I make these coin disappear? Let me zoom into the camera right now. Let's use the camera change. Don't worry, it didn't cut that. Nope, I'm not a magician. <laughs> but this video is not about that. So let me get to the video. So as you know, I was working on a couple of things. I've been working, well, I was thinking about, I was planning on working on the sound effects for the text effects compositions pack. So that, as you know, I released the text effects and Originally, this was just going to be like text compositions with all of them. And then I decided, okay, let me release them individually. And then this was going to be a sort of like an up, upgrade for it. But I still need to do all the sound effects part. Well, I was going to do that today. And then I got a little distracted. Because I thought, well, let me see if in the Ventures of 20, I am able to do something that I was not able to do in previous versions. And that something was connecting lookup tables from modifiers. As you know, there's a way to create transitions. And I was like, think, okay, text compositions, maybe I can also add a, like a transition, drag and drop transition type of thing for the text. So then I put together this little experiment, this quick little experiment, okay? So this is just a normal drag and drop trans transition. So the way that it works is that you add modifiers to whatever element you want to animate. I was able to connect the source, the curve, without any issues, like I was able to do so before. But for these lookup tables, I was not able to do so. And this is when I got a little bit frustrated. I was, I searched on Reddit. I was, I tried to ask AI to build a script for me to be able to see if there was a way to do this and it was not working. So then I was like, oh, there's no way it's never going to work. Now, in that process, I learned something new that I think is going to be useful for you. While you're not able to connect these directly, what you are able to do is edit both of them at the same time. And this is especially for when you want both of them to have the same curve. Since you cannot really even copy from this one and paste into that one, what you can do is open your spline editor and you will see here that you have the lookup tables. And for that, you also need to have both of these selected. Click on the lookup table, click on the other one and press fit to screen. Now, here you can press Ctrl A, now press F, and you can see that both of them are changing if you make any changes. Now, deselect these because sometimes they will not update right away. And you can see that both of them have that same curve. I don't know what to tell you. I learned that today. I don't know if that, that was able or that was possible on previous version, but I thought that it would be really useful for you to know that, that you are able to do that. It's not exactly what I wanted to do, but it's a little bit of a workaround and it makes life a little bit easier in that sense. Now, what I can do is create a macro, add both of those lookup tables to the macro, and then you still have to open the macro in Fusion and then edit it from the spline editor, but it's a little bit faster than having to do so manually. So yeah, that is a tip that I wanted to share with you all. Make sure to check out the TextFX pack because there's still... By the time, hopefully by the time you see this video, there's none, but there's still three spots left by the time I'm recording these for the people to get the text compositions, not the text composition, the sound effects compositions pack for free at no extra cost. Well, that's for free, right? Uh, when you get the text effects pack. And those are these are basically the, the sound effects stuff that you can see here on screen. Um, they're all like compositors so that you can drag and drop them easily. And there's like different whooshes that are combined and stuff like that. That as well is not completed yet, but I need to, I have to juggle everything together because I'm solo still. But if you watch this video all the way through, make sure to leave a little star on the comments. So at that, I know that you are a star. That's it for this video. Bye.